Yo, what's going on with you two, Jumpman Chris here? We're coming back at y'all with another vid, man. So we gotta do some update discussion video for you guys and just a topic about what's gonna be coming out uh, in 2023. So earlier this year in January, we did get some news and we kind of speculated that we were supposed to be getting like a lost and found bread toes lookalike supposedly kind of similar to like i think a lot of people speculated that we we're supposed to get a br black toe similar to like how we did with the chicago lost and found something like that right so but it sounds like things have changed plans have changed and we're no longer getting the black toe uh lost and founds or reimagine whatever you want to call it instead of we're only get the og low og in the black toes instead only no more no longer the highs but now we're gonna be getting the royal toe reimagined this is these sneaker heads and sneaker files for breaking the news once again hey they've been killing on the news here but again they say it's a reimagine what could that possibly mean for the royals honestly i love the royal colorway i think it's gonna be a fire cop this is my 2001 pair. If anyone didn't know, I've been having this thing since forever. This was actually pretty dope back in the day when these were actually numbered in the back. 2001 in the, the swoosh is kind of like suede suede, not leather. I also had the 2017 pair back when they did the whole, back when they were doing the whole tumbled, tumbled leather. Again, dope colorway. I like the Royals. I think it's really dope with it being blue. Now, with that being said, would I prefer the bl uh, the black toes? Yes, I would have. But I was kind of thinking in my head, like, man, so is Nike really going to spoil us with, I mean, we just got, in 2021, we got the patent leather breads. 2022, we're getting the, we got the Chicago loss of founds, which went crazy. Back with the bread satins, women exclusive, and you're telling me we're going to get the bread toes? Come on, Nike, they're not that nice. Be it, but now it's being called the Reimagine Royals. Again, we don't know what it's gonna look like. As long as they don't give us patent leather Royals, you know, I still think it'll be okay. I'm sure it'll sell out. I just don't think it'll be, it's gonna be all that crazy no matter how they're gonna do it. I just hope they do it right. You know, give us like maybe some, if they can give us a lost and found type of vibe with the Royals, I'm all for it. I mean, you know, I usually see it with it like kind of like purplish colorway of the laces, you know, that type of vibe. You know, maybe some distressed look to it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what Nike, did, you know, intends on doing with this whole royal colorway. If memory serves me correct, with every royal colorway, you know, since it's not a Chicago Bull colorway with Michael Jordan, you know, usually wear the black and red. It's not all that crazy hype, to be honest, you know. Yes, it does sell out, but it's not that super duper hard to get. And the resale wasn't all that crazy. So if you expect, you know, the hype and the resale and the craziness to happen the same way how the loss of found Chicago's, most likely it will not. It will just be a little bit, but the two crazy colorways that people go crazy over on the Air Jordan ones, which is the bread colorway and the Chicago colorway. Black Toes is still a good colorway, but people don't really go too crazy over it. And same goes with the Rose. It being an OG colorway, it's nice and all. People recognize it and people do love these OG colorway. But I don't think a lot of people is going to go that crazy over it. Just saying. For me, you know, I am pretty excited for it. I am kind of curious to see what Nike and Jordan Brand is going to do with this whole reimagined Royals. I mean, when was the last time we got a decent OG colorway looking, you know, Royal? I mean, it's been since like 2017. And like, I mean, I know we got in 2020 the the royal toes which in my opinion i wouldn't call it that but i'm still excited i'm still excited i most likely i will cop just depending on how we see the design that's all we have to wait to see what it looks like we'll have to wait and see whenever you know more official image coming out but you guys comment down below are you excited for the reimagined royals instead of the black toes i don't think it's gonna be that crazy successful like as in like you know like chicago's it was going crazy resales going crazy you know everyone was going for this uh chicago colorway i think with the royals i think a lot of people just gonna be like eh it's cool if i get it if i don't what else but in due time they could go crazy you know do crazy numbers and and you know the hype be all crazy and stuff like that what they wait and see once the release happened it is holiday season hey man this year is looking all right 2023 
I think Nike Jordan Rand is coming out some heavy, heavy hit hitters, especially with that OG colorway, some great colorways. I uh, cannot wait to the reimagined threes, the DMP 11s, Cherry 12s. Uh, so, like I said, we're supposedly we're still gonna get the the black toe OG lows, which I'm still gonna be excited for. Uh, I know a lot of people were disappointed with the satin, you know, bread uh, Air Jordan One women exclusive. I, I know a lot of people were disappointed on it, but still, again, you know, I think a lot of people will, will dig it. But that being said, reimagine Royals. Come on, Nike. Hope, hope, hope they can put it together pretty nicely. With that being said, with more re holiday releases, suppose apparently Nike's to be coming out with the wing collection of an Air Jordan 1 retail at $1,500. Huh? $1,500, man, that is crazy. That Without that being a collab, I don't know how Nike's gonna do on that one. Will it sell out? Depends. It depends how limited it's gonna be. I don't know about this one. Um, I said uh, the the main colorways is gonna be is black, wolf gray, and metallic gold. And here's some like some mock-up pictures that Sneaker Files uh, posted up NZ Sneakerhead. It looks like you know it looks like a Georgetown 85 high with gold eyelids and stuff like that in a gold wing logo. Like this gold on here, it better be 24 karat gold on here for it to be worth $1,500. They must be out their minds. Are some Air Jordan ones, you know, collab, you know, resales worth like $1,500 and stuff like that? And I know there's can be some arguments that, yo, there's no way it could be worth that. I get it. But I mean, an Air Jordan one off rip retail for $1,500. You guys can comment down below. Let me know. Will you be trying to go for this or not? Only way I can see this being successful, like if it's numbered, maybe like that, you know, it's very limited, maybe like limited to like 500 pairs or something like that. I do remember some of the old wing collection of, uh, you know, Jordans back in the day. I think it was like, that what year it was? Maybe it was 2015, 16, the wing collection. It was, it looked like it was a playoff 12 but you can actually take off the paint on the side and it was like more of like a metallic gold wing logo design once you take the paint off, if anyone remember that. Uh, I can't remember is any, you know, GR or, you know, Jordan brand expensive retail pair. I think the, you know, Air Jordan 1 Pinnacles or some of that. Air Jordan Pinnacles, I think it had like, you know, legit reptile, <laughs> reptilian skin, uh, leather or some of that. And they those things retail at 400, but they didn't do anything crazy. So for an Air Jordan 1 to retail at $1,500, in my opinion, that's crazy. I don't know where they're gonna sell that at. Is it gonna be an auction? Is it gonna be super limited? What's the story? You know, that's something that I kinda wanna hear later down the road. I mean, you gotta be a super sneaker head to actually, you know, get some of this. Me personally, I don't know. We have to wait and see. Will the resale be any crazy? You know what I mean? And even if the resale is crazy, like how much could it really go to? Is it gonna be eighteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars? Like, is people really gonna spend two thousand dollars on a, you know, Jordan brand Air Jordan One? That's just my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I'm sure it's gonna be somewhat limited and how they're gonna release it. Maybe some type of storytelling. We have to wait and see about that one. But hey, fifteen hundred dollars. Hey, but with that being said, I am. A little sad that we're not gonna begin to reimagine black toe. I think it's been a long time since we had a black toe Air Jordan One high. I would love to see with the re, you know, the whole new design that we'll be getting. But instead, hey, I don't mind a Royal. I don't mind a Royal Air Jordan One. I think it'll be cool. Uh, but obviously, yeah, I would prefer the black toe. I like the black toes a little bit better. Or just that maybe because I had a Royal, and you know, I have a couple of Royal Air Jordan Ones. And also, you know, we got the tumbled Air Jordan Royals back in 2017. We had the Royal Toes back in 2022. We haven't had a black toe in a long time. And I know a lot, I think I did hear is, is the rumors were like, that we kind that uh, influencers on like Twitter and influencers kind of leaked out the bread toes a little too soon. So Nike decided to change their mind. Is that, could be the reason? Or maybe we just made a mistake. Who knows, you know? Um, I hate to say that I'm the, that we're at fault. I don't, I don't think we have that much power, you know? A lot of people try to say it, but I don't think we have that much power. Whatever Nike decides they're gonna do is what they're gonna do. Cause you know, there's a whole bunch of us talking when we first got uh, news that the Chicago reimagined Lost and Founds coming out back when, you know, months before they're gonna release. We all made videos about it. We all posted pictures. And guess what? They still came out with the Chicago reimagined Lost and Founds and they still did great numbers. So it doesn't really matter. But anyway guys, 
Um, just got back from Bloomington, Indiana for uh, the Sneaker Beast event. And now I'm trying to make this content for you guys. Just have a little discussion video. So next week, I will see you guys at the Sneaker Culture event in Columbus. Um, haven't been back to the Sneaker Culture in a while, so I'm glad to be back. And then on Sunday, I'll be into the Chicago area at the Sneaker uh, the Sneaker Lots event. It's our first time in their event, man. So can't wait to see what happens and uh, check it out and everything. So hope to see you guys there. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometime on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jamie Chris. Push.